What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the look of your car with less than $40. So we're gonna go ahead and paint Lily's calibers on the car that she bought literally like what, Saturday? Hasn't even been a week or so. So I went ahead and actually looked for the key lock, something I, or not key lock, but the lug knot, whatever, lug knot, lug lock. I went ahead and looked for it because First thing, first thing that popped up in my head was something I should have looked at when I for when we first bought the car, but then it kind of I guess slipped my mind. So I went ahead and looked for it. It was actually in the back of the car, thank God, because I I thought I had to drive all the way back to dealership to go get it. But um, found this. But since you guys are here, we're gonna be actually finding the right socket so that I can get the rest of the lug nuts off. So let's go check it out. So we're gonna make sure so that goes in there. I was so slick about this because I went ahead and looked at the lug nuts because obviously that's the first thing I'm gonna think of. Cause I was thinking like what socket goes there and then I, was, I saw that lock and I was like oh shoot I forgot to actually look into that before we left. So this is going to be a 19 and it's not a 19. Obviously this is just long sockets yeah so it's done to these. Alright moment of truth. 13 16 Oh let's go. So we got the wheel lock and we got the actual lock for that. So let's go ahead and go to the store and get the caliper paint. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know the two colors that we took into consideration. But before we get into that, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to be posting the updates as soon as possible because obviously it's easier uploading it to Instagram than it is to upload on YouTube. But the two colors that we took in consideration was neon green and red. But after heavily considering both of them, red would probably be the better choice, the more reasonable choice. She plans on hopefully in the near future changing the color of the car. So. Probably red would be the best choice for now. So we're gonna go pick up some red caliper paint and let's get this insulation started. Actually, I wouldn't, I don't know if you would consider this insulation. I don't know. Modification, we're gonna use the word modification. I'm actually jealous. She got the red interior. F Sport, Lexus. I'm jealous, to be honest. She got these tents on Sunday. They said three days, today makes three days. I want to roll them down, but I get that she's probably wants to do it first since it's her car. She's been wanting to roll them down, so I'm gonna give her that pleasure first. We are just gonna open the sunroof. Something that I think is so sick. So you see this circle thing right here? Like that, that's not a part of the screen. Like that actually sticks up off the screen. I don't know if you guys can tell it through the video. That moves, so if I press the button, it moves to the, that's so sick. It moves to the side, and then you can actually go like do different settings and stuff. Um, tire pressure, vehicle settings. You can actually go through the adaptive cruise control and the lane assist, and then you can move it back. And then if you put it in sport, it changes a different color. That's pretty sick, honestly. And then it also says sport up there when you change to sport. So we got the caliper kit. I actually had to drive like 20 minutes just to get this kit. The reason why I wanted this one in specific because it's actually a brush on type paint versus a spray on. I did my calipers on my car as a spray on and it wasn't the best experience. I advise anybody that wants to do the spray on to take the caliper off unless you don't really mind doing it with it on the car. The reason why is because it's kind of annoying because you gotta like tape stuff off and then you gotta put like plastic bags around stuff that's not supposed to get paint on it. Um, so I'm, I'm actually pretty juiced to actually be trying this one out. Cause that should be like really easy, just brush it on like a normal thing or a normal item. So let's get home and let's get to it. So we are back at home. So the plan is, is we're gonna paint the fronts first. So the back of the box says give or take about two hours until it's dry enough for you to put the wheels back on. So we'll paint the fronts, wait two hours, put the wheels back on, swap the car around, uh, paint the rears, wait two hours, put the uh, put the wheels back on, and that should be it. it. It makes it that much easier to the fact that the calibers that are already on the car have no paint at all on them. I think the hardest part is just gonna be cleaning them because you gotta make sure that you get every crevice because you don't want the paint to chip when it's on there. That's probably the most de devastating thing ever. So that's what I wanna get to it, and then uh, like I said, it should take a little bit of time. I didn't even know I still had this impact until I looked. So shout out makes the impact. Shout out Chris for the adapter, boy. This makes things a hundred times easier. My hands are about to get extremely dirty. I am extremely grateful. You guys see how easy this is gonna be to paint? Extremely easy since it's one piece. I mean the rears are a different different story. The kit itself actually comes with caliper cleaner. It's 
Oh, that's, that's actually a plus. So it comes with caliber cleaner. You can tell that this was probably returned or something after they used it. Cause either that or they dropped it because that's like cracked. But comes with a paintbrush and a little stick to mix the paint. And last but not least, we have the paint. Actually, I think there's one more thing in there. Oh, yeah, there's tape. So if you needed to tape anything off that doesn't need to be painted or not supposed to be painted, then it comes with tape for that. Get the lid off this paint. I'm gonna stir it up. Oh, that that's chunky. Oh, that's real chunky. I'm never spray painting my calipers again. This is so much easier. It's, it's honestly fun. It's way more fun doing it this way than spray painting it. So, again, I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll come back for another coat. I probably should have wore gloves before even starting this, but I'm gonna take these off and show you what my hands look like. Cause I tried to wash my hands along with the brush cause it was getting a little bit too much paint on it. And I'm not sure if it's because it's ceramic paint or not, but like it literally just smeared all the paint on my hands. And the brush is done. So I really, Lord knows from the deep bottom of my soul, I don't feel like going to the source. So I took a brush that I have and I modified it. So. We're gonna see how this works. Hopefully it works good. If not, then I'm forced to go to the store. All right, so four coats down and we are finally finished with this side. That paintbrush wasn't that bad. I mean, the other one's way better obviously, but it, I mean, it, it can get the job done. We're gonna let that dry. It's actually really red. <laughs> All right, so the camera kind of died towards the end of the last clip, but we got both calipers painted. So this is going to be four coats on this caliper right here. And then we're going to walk onto the passenger side. And it's going to be four coats on this one. Also, I actually just got done painting this one. I'm going to go ahead and put the wheel on on the driver's side. I think that wheel is ready to go back on. I'm not saying that the caliper is 100% dry, but I believe that wheel is ready to go on obviously i'm not going to drive it the car is still going to be sitting and it's going to be drying but with the wheel on i'm going to do the rears probably tomorrow because i'm most likely most likely going to have to take off the brakes to paint it correctly hopefully i can figure out a way not to that's the whole idea of painting it with a paintbrush but worst comes worst i'm going to have to but i'm going to tackle that tomorrow because the sun is going down and i don't need the temperature to drop because then that means the paint's not going to cure the way it's supposed to so we will pick this video back up tomorrow so the next day came and the calipers looks terrible. I mean, there's no way, there's no way in heck I could have left it like that. So I actually, I ended up stripping the front calipers of paint and actually repainting them. And I think, honestly, it was my fault, obviously. I think it's because I didn't leave enough time in between coats. So I was just like piling it on, piling it on without it drying. In the end, it just looked like one big mess. So again, stripped them, repainted them. They look good, actually. Wheels are back on. They look amazing. So... With doing that, I actually had my head down the whole day basically, and I ended up painting the rear calipers too. I didn't paint the whole thing though. The reason being is because in order to paint this good, you would have to take it off. And this is a clip that actually keeps this uh, pad intact. So my thing is like if I paint this, and it dries and stuff, and I put this clip back on, like it's just gonna scratch the paint. So, and I didn't want that. So I figured I'd try out just painting this portion of it first and seeing how it looked. I think it's gonna look pretty good, honestly. I don't think it's gonna look bad. I know it's a little windy out here, but real quick, this is how it came out. It looked amazing. Like I said, the back is kinda gonna be a little subtle because I didn't paint that bracket in there. I'm thinking about outlining it, to be honest. Um, so at least there's some red over here, but nonetheless, it looks okay. 
um, the front stands out. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna get an F Sport sticker and stick it on the front right there. So we just gotta wait for those to come in the mail. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. So I painted front and back yesterday. So I'm gonna let the car sit all day today, and then uh, we'll bring it out tomorrow. We got the all white classics on. It's time to head out. It's me and Lily's one year anniversary today, so I'm on my way to her house right now to spend the rest of the day with her. So I'm gonna cut the video right here. I can't say too much because I don't want to ruin it, but all I'm gonna say is do not miss the next video. If you're watching this in the future, make sure that you check out the video that I posted right after this. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.